Okay, it's good. Yeah. Okay, this was a good introduction to my talk. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, so now we we have seen all the etiology and the problem of the epiphysiolysis, and uh, exactly now I can follow with the modern treatment of this which we started 20 years ago, as you can see. Exactly 20 years ago, we made the first uh, surgical hip dislocation. And uh, so therefore, uh, is surgical dislocation the method of choice for the skiffy? We believe yes, because the closed reduction uh, is the reason for AVN. That means the reason is the surgery, a surgeon and not the, the skiffy. So in the meantime, I have here, especially this is the first time, a, a skiffy model. This skiffy model is really in this way, you can study here where the vessel is, that you see, as even you make a complete dislocation of the head, the head circulation is always okay. And you can also follow where the circulation to the head is coming behind the obturatorius muscle under the uh, treat, uh, three muscles here, and here you have the quadratus femoris. So, uh, uh, Estefania, can you give it, and you can look at this during my talk, and then you understand everything much better. Okay? Good. So, I have a question. Do you see, you see here a fracture? I hope you can see it. Ah, look. Uh, and I ask you, how would you do treat this fracture? I will help you. It's a dislocated condyle radial condyle fracture. Who will treat this fracture, a complete displaced radial condyle fracture in a closed way? Who will make it open? Okay, yeah, good. So, is, why you do it in an open way? Because it's an arterial fracture, huh? It's an arterial fracture, okay. So, according to the three-step rule, you know, Open procedure, anatomical reduction, stable fixation. Huh? You agree? This is the way how to treat it. Now I ask you, why you don't treat the hip in the same way? Only because it's more complex. But the hip is our most important joint. And you mean, over decades, we neglect this uh, joint completely and we manage palate in a close way, you know? Okay, so why not the same rules in the hip for skiffy, like in a condyle fracture, okay? So you see here some crazy pictures. This is typical for US. In US, because of the lawyer, they make nothing and they stabilize the, 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 the head. But in this situation, you have not need, don't need a screw because the head is always a most, a, dislocated, or you see this situation and what he mentioned before, the, the situation of the a, a cam and all these situations, okay? So what we know, and I mentioned before, you see here you see a study also about uh, the blood supply to the head and the vascularity, and this is very uh, important to know. And this is the reason why AVN happens, because of the surgeon who makes a closed reduction. So, what should be the goal in a skiffy? The anatomical reduction, stable fixation, and no AVN, okay? Not only AVN is the problem, but also the stability, and you see here such a situation, okay? And again, we have a, a talked about impingement, you know? Here is the head. First of all, it is not, the, we should also change our word. Skiffy is wrong. It is not a slipped capital epiphysis. No, as you can see in your model, the, the neck goes out, the head remains in the joint. It's not the joint, the head goes out of the joint. And the, no, it's completely different. Okay, but we have to change. So this is compromised low distribution and femoral impingement, as you see here in this situation. Even in a mild form, as I will show later, and you see here the hip open, this, is, this hip is open, you see this part creates the impingement. So nowadays, I will show this later, we fix this hip, but with arthroscopic we create an offset to prevent 
to prevent impingement. So this is the thesis of the CAM in this situation. So the damage of the atom cartilage, this, it means a new approach for the skiffy. And again, such is a skiff, you see, and you can produce this in your model. This is the metaphysis you can feel with your finger when you dislocate the head. And when this rough zone goes in the acetabulum, this creates then the arthrosis and damage. And here you see this acetabulum. This is a 13-year-old girl, you know? All these red zones are bone. There is no uh, cartilage left. That means with 13 years, this child has arthrosis, okay? And you know exactly in the model why this happens. So we know from the literature very crazy things, but all this was not known at this time. And what is uh, important for me, in the literature, results on overall arthrosis rate is so high, you see, okay? And a vascular necrosis up to 50% is reported and accepted, okay? So, a serious question to you. What percentage of complication of failures do you expect for a surgical procedure or for yourself? Do you accept 40% complication if I make an operation on you? No. Do you 20, 10, five or less? You will say, I will know zero complication. Huh? Of course, this is the goal. So in the literature, it's common to see such numbers, and we believe it must be like that. So that you say, oh, in the literature, is 40%. I have also 40%. Oh, I'm according to the literature. But we have to think about how I can avoid. We should not accept any complication in principle. So therefore, I ask you, but would you fly in a plane if this were the same statistic? That means every third plane crashes down? No, you would never go. You know, in the airplane, in the aircraft, th this is the statistics. This, you see, zero, 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 I'm present. Okay, so, goal or in the deformity correction must not more than three or five percent. In situ fixation, in principle, if you do not manipulate, you will not have an AVN. Therefore, the a a US makes this. Even they make a crazy situation like this. But you have a high risk of impingement, high risk of early arthrosis, limited function, because such a hip has no function. You agree? Okay? So this is the big problem. As I mentioned before, even here, when we make in this kiffy, but you see, this is the bump, as you have seen before, or in the very cr a, a chronic situation, as you see here, healed is a, a very severe impingement, and this creates the arthrosis or the damage of the cartilage. So what we have, people say this is a, a, a remodelation, but this has nothing to do with remodelation. You know, you see this was the physis and this is the physis, so this is filled with bone. So it's adaptation. We have to leave a traditional option and to change our view. Okay. Again, I go back to a fracture. Modeling means restoration of the epiphyseal axis. That means, you know, if you have a fracture like this, after some days, the physis goes back to, to the normal situation. But in here, as you see here, we never have a, a, a re realignment. The head came never to here. So that means this makes the impingement. And what we have is that this is the physis, this is the slip, and this is new bone formation. So that means we have to remove this and you have to bring back the bone to the correct position. Okay? This is the goal to prevent all this. How to do this? First of all, closed reduction and fixation has a very high rate of AVN. And in the meantime, we can, we can intraoperative simulate how this happens. We can simulate how this happens. And again, AVN is the surgeon and not the skiffy. You know, the surgeon creates. Okay? So here you see other pub. This is a case uh, I got from outside. They sent me the picture, said, okay, what I have, do, I have to do? He said, no, make nothing. Go in for an open surgery. He said, next day he sent me a picture and said, look, I pull on the leg and then we may plop and I fix this with a screw. And you see, he ended up in the necrosis. 
So this is a, the situation. Open anatomic reduction by transparent and subcutter osteotomy and stable fixation. AVN is possible if recommended OP steps are not respected. This is clear. So exactly 20 years ago, no, now it's 23 years ago, we made the first girl in this situation, as you can see here, with an anatomy reduction. This observation led us to the following question. Are chondrolysis, CAM-induced, and necrosis faithful, or can and must we have influence on this? We said, yes, we must influence and reduce this high number of necrosis. What is the interpretation? In the normal hip function like this, you have no conflict here. In the CAM situation, you have seen the classification before, up to 30 degrees, this is a very ugly situation for the labrum because the hip can go in. So then the severe is not so damaged because the hip stops here. This is exactly here. So the cartilage is protected because the hip stops here. But the chronic situation is also bad for the cartilage. OK. So the consequence of this observation in all patients treated after this, that means 24 years ago, surgical hip dislocation was performed. But then we changed in situ fixation and timing, trimming of the metaphysis to create an offset, open order arthroscopically, that means up to 30 degrees, 25 degrees in mild form, and in all other forms we made an anatomical reduction. How we, we, in the beginning, we, are, we were able, and still today, to measure the blood supply in the head. And here you see the pulsation of the head eh, the, and the pressure in the head, and you can control this also in a situation. So the operation is always the same. Here you see the case. And please rec recognize, this is the ca uh, impingement, and this is the callus. And this callus is responsible for the necrosis, because, you know, the vessel coming from here, look at your model, a model, then it's short over the time, and then you make the reduction, and you press the vessel, uh, or you pull the vessel over this, and then the blood supply is over. So lateral approach, here you see, uh, we will go very quickly through this, the, the, the landmarks, this is gluteus minimum, minimus, piriformis, circumflex artery coming from here. This is the approach to go to the hip, trochanto flip osteotomy. Here the vessels for the trochanto, you can see very clearly. And then you see in an unstable situation, we have to fix the head before we make the, uh, reduc uh, the dislocation. And in your model you have in your hand, you see exactly from 3 o'clock to nine, or 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock, we have the rupture and never where the vessel is. Look, on your model, you see the retinaculum exactly here. You know, this is the retinaculum with the vessels. And exactly here. And the rupture goes around here, okay? So the banana is the best model with a banana because the, the, the peel of the banana is very thick, like the periosteum in a child. You can do this. And you see, it's the femoral neck coming out and not the head goes in, okay? So here are the steps of the operation. I will go all quickly over this. Uh, and here you see we, after rectal flap uh, building, we can dislocate the head. You see these are the famous retinal flap. You have to read the lit literature. And then you see the obliquity now from the neck uh, of the neck. That is a sign of chronic, even it was unstable, you know. He mentioned the, our uh, publication and this contrast to the loaded calcification. This child was able to walk even if it was unstable. And this is a chronic situation. You see, normally it should be. So this is exactly what we have now. The head is inside and we have the neck out and we form the neck now correct in this way. And then we make the reduction, as you can see here. We cut all the colors away. This is the colors, the famous colors you can see here. And then we make it straight around and then we can uh, make an anatomical reduction. You see the retinaculum with the vessels, exactly in your model, and then we close the wound and we have an absolute anatomical situation. We fix always the contralateral side, okay? So it's actually the situation. Here, shortly, another case, at anatomical reduction, normal function, relative lengthening in the same way, and a good situation, as you see, and the healing and no AVN. So over a long time, and as you can see here, mostly the operated side has a better range of motion because of the better offset. 
So in the meantime, we have more, we make a publication with more than 140 cases and we have only three AVN. But these three AVN were pre-existing and not uh, created by the surgery. One was a, a Down syndrome, the other was a basketball player of two meter five and he was playing basketball of the dislocated head and uh, he destroyed all. But not <laughs> But why do we nevertheless see AVN with this treatment? I get this treatment a case, I guess, also from here, from this country. A, this was the situation. And then open reduction, as I showed before. But when I see this, and you compare this X-ray to my X-ray, then you see why it makes an AVN. You see here, where is the cut of the uh, The cut goes to here, you see? But the cut has to go to here, and then it, we create half an AVN. You know, this is the problem, you see? Okay, this is the failure. I see it on the X-ray. This was the cut. This is completely wrong. The cut has to go to here, because here you destroy the vessel. You can see it on the model, okay? So therefore, if you do not respect our every step of our this operation, then you will fail. Here you see it, how to do this, that this part of the gluteus medius has to remain on the frame magnet, uh, main fragment, as you can see here. And in this case, you see the cut was here to the piriformis fossa. So in these 24 years, in more than 140 hips, we have seen only these three AVN. All patients showed a similar range of motion and to the non-operative side, even better, as you have seen before. An acute pain is not a sign of instability, mandatorily, but is a sign of a severe impingement, as you can see here, the damage of the labrum and the cartilage. The main step in skiffy surgery is to prevent impingement. Two possibilities. Again, in the mild form nowadays, creation of an offset, all others anatomical reduction and head realignment. Gracias.